So this is a review of Chesterica's book of chess constructs, volume 6. Since I don't have access to the Kindle version where I live, I'll show you a PDF of it. I actually don't have access to the Kindle version of my own book, but it's okay. It more or less looks like this. So in this volume 6, there are 100 original computer-generated chess problems, 10 more than the volume 5. There's a preface and introduction, and the format is basically the same as before. There's an online video solution to every problem. There's also some commentary down there. For example, in this case, white has a rook for black's bishop and knight. That means black is slightly ahead in material. So if you want to see the online video solution for a problem, you just click the link here. Computer generated chess problem 2345 by Chestetica. So white has a queen rook. Alternatively, you can scroll to the last chapter where the solutions are given. And here, just like in the previous version, there are detailed solutions with possible variations. Now something new in this volume 6 or the bonus content are things like this. For example, here is CGCP 00058. Why is this the best move? So the solution is not given for things like this. It's just there for you to solve. It also helps utilize some of the unused space instead of filling it with a large piece like this. So where the bonus content could fit, it was put there. And then towards the very end, we have the references. There are also links there that can be clicked. This is one of the advantages of the ebook version or Kindle version. And now let me show you the paperback version. So this is the paperback version of the same book. As you can see the title appears on the side quite nicely. There's a synopsis at the back. Now what's different in this uh, version is the color of the pages. It is white instead of cream, like in volume 5. Now I'm not sure if white is better than cream, but it might make the pages a little bit more transparent in some cases. So perhaps cream might be better for the paperback version, but it depends on the reader. So in the paperback version, you'll notice the links are no longer there. There was no point to include the HTTP links to the online video solutions. You can always search for them online. So the boards are a little bit bigger than you would find in volume 5. It's actually quite nice to hold. The solutions are there quite clear as well in the figurine font. And this one, of course, is a little bit thicker than volume 5 because it has 100 uh, problems instead of just 90. An increment of 10, as usual, following the pattern. And this is something new. The hardcover version of the book. So this is the first volume that features a hardcover version. Kindle now supports hardcover books as well. And it is actually quite nice. You can see it's a hardcover. And the contents are basically the same as the paperback. And surprisingly for the hardcover, white paper actually works well. I think the paper in the hardcover version might be a slightly higher quality as well. So it's not that transparent, meaning that when you look at a certain problem, you can't really see the text in the background. You can still see it, but it's less than the paperback. Neither is really a big issue, but I mean, you have this problem with other books as well. So you can see for yourself, it actually is quite clear. You look at the pieces, and even if you look at the last chapter, you look at the solutions, right? It's all, it's all actually quite crystal clear. The diagrams. Here's another one. CGCP00249, why is this the best move? So you just have to figure it out. They're not too difficult, but it's something that you can try. So the earlier versions of this series did not have that. And this is the end of the book. There are some additional white or blank pages. This one thick one actually. So of course the hardcover version is slightly more expensive than the paperback. And the paperback slightly more than the Kindle version, but sometimes it pays to have a physical copy of a book that doesn't need a power supply and a hard drive to exist in the world. Thanks for watching.